so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Blippi! <laughs> I was just acting like a bear. Hey, it's me, Blippi. Speaking of a bear, why don't we draw a bear together? Wow, bears are so cute. They're cuddly, Ooh, like a teddy bear. But bears in the wild, you want to stay away from. All right, first, let's draw a circle for the head. There we go. And then an oval for the body. Ooh, and then, yeah, for the nose right there. Ooh, and another circle for the eye. Ooh, and a button nose. There we go. Oh, doesn't that start to look like a bear right now? Yeah, and then for the body. Ooh, and one arm right there, a leg, another leg, and the arm. Wow. Oh, can't forget about the two cute little ears up there. <laughs> Wasn't this fun drawing a bear with me? Yeah, I love drawing with you. If you want to draw some more with me, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? B-L-I-P-P-I. Flippy! All right, see you later. Bye bye. <laughs> Hello, Moose. Oh, hey, it's me, Blippy. And check this out. This is a giant moose. And today, you and I at Northwest Trek in Eatonville, Washington, are gonna see some awesome animals. Maybe we'll see a moose. I am so excited. Let's go. Bye bye, Moose. Whoa, check out this radical off-road vehicle. This is so cool. This is what you and I are going to take the tour in. <laughs> Let's inspect it. Make sure it's nice and safe for us. Check it out. These are some big wheels and tires. Whoa, and look at that tread. That is some big tread for some massive off-roading. Yeah. Whoa, check out that up there. That is the canopy top. Just in case if it rains, nothing will hit our heads. It's kind of like an umbrella, but for a vehicle. All right, let's check out inside. Whoa, hey, check this out. Hello, hello, Northwest Trek. Blippi's here. Can I come on the tour? Hey there, Blippi, you're clear for the tour. All right, you heard him. We're ready to take the tour. All right, first we need to finish our Vehicle tour. All right, check this out. This is where you fill up the vehicle with gas. Yep, it's nice and full. All right, there we go. Oh, now into the back of the vehicle. Whoa! Check it out. Whoa, there's so many seats back here. Whoa! <laughs> So cool. I'm gonna sit right here so I can get a bird's eye view of all the fun animals we're about to see. Let's go! Woohoo! Whoa! Do you see those animals? Those animals are elk. Hey, look at that one. That one has big antlers. That one is a boy. And all those other ones are girls. <laughs> See you later, elk. <laughs> oh, looks like they're playing. See ya. Oh, let's go explore some more animals around here. Whoa, check it out. This is a bison. Whoa! And do you see how it has some fur on the side? Yeah, some really short fur and some long fur. And that long fur is called a cape. Yeah, that means this bison is a boy. Whoa! This bison is so big, it weighs the size of a small car. <laughs> Oh, this is so much fun at the Northwest Trek. <laughs> Whoa, do you see that animal? That is a moose. One way I can tell that that is a moose is the thing that it has under its chin. Yeah. <laughs> 
That's called a bell. Whoa, and there's another moose over here. Hello, moose. Hey, moose. <laughs> Do you see how that moose is moving its ears? Yeah, they have some big ears. They can probably hear really good. Let's see. Hello, moose. Hello. Hey. <laughs> I was being really quiet, and it heard me. <laughs> Check out those animals. Those animals are big horned sheep. Do you see their horns? Yeah, if you look at them from the side, it kind of looks like a circle. <laughs> wow, what cool animals. Whoa! This is so much fun at Northwest Trek. We are finding so many animals. They are so cute. <laughs> There's three goats right here. Hey, I think you and I should count them. One, two, three. Yeah, three white goats. Oh, they're so cute. Hello, goat. Hey. <laughs> oh. oh, looks like two are leaving. Three minus two is one. But they're still there. So there's three. <laughs> so silly. Bison is massive! <laughs> and those goats are really small. It's so cool that these two species of animals are living right next to each other and they're getting along. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Northwest Trek is such a great place to see animals that are native to the Pacific Northwest. <laughs> yeah! Huh, well, we gotta keep going because we have so many more animals to see. Let's go! Whoa! Do you see those birds? Oh, oh! They're so big! Those are bald eagles. Do you see how that one has a white neck and head? Yeah, because that is an adult. But that one right there with the darker neck and head that means it's a juvenile, which is five years and younger. Hey, how old are you? <laughs> cool! <laughs> Whoa! This is the wingspan of a bald eagle. Whoa! It has a bigger wingspan than I do! Whoa! Go! 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 Whoa, do you see that animal? <laughs> that animal is a raccoon. Whoa, raccoons are so cute. <laughs> yeah, you can find raccoons in a lot of places, like out in the wilderness and even in the city. Yeah, sometimes I hear my garbage at night getting ruffled up. <laughs> and actually, it's a raccoon just trying to find some food. <laughs> Do you see that? Those are itty bitty chunks of food for an animal called river otters. I am so excited. <laughs> oh, do you see those animals? Those are the river otters I was talking about earlier. <laughs> and they're eating lunch. Oh, come check them out. Hey, there they are. Wow, <laughs> they look really hungry. River otters can actually dive down 60 feet underwater. Whoa, that's about 20 meters. That is really deep. <laughs> Check them out. Whoa, that is a wolverine. It has some really sharp claws. <laughs> and its teeth and jaw is so sharp it can crunch through bone. Whoa, and these animals are really fierce. They have to be fierce because they live in the wilderness. Whoa, 
<laughs> what cool animals! Whoa, do you see those animals? Yeah, those are bears. They're actually grizzly bears. <laughs> These are the biggest bears that we have in the Pacific Northwest. Oh, they're so big! And their smell is so good, they can smell food from 20 miles away. Wow, that's like about 32 kilometers. That is so far. Hey, I have an idea. How about you and I act like bears? So we get on all fours, but when you hear music, then you stand up and growl and dance like a bear. Ready? All right, act like a bear. Rawr! 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 today at Northwest Trek in Eatonville, Washington. Wow, we sure did learn about a lot of Pacific Northwest animals today, didn't we? <laughs> yeah, I really enjoyed learning with you. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? B-L-I-P-P-I, -I, Flippy. Good job. All right. See you soon. Bye-bye. Today, we're going on a great green adventure. It's going to be so much fun. And along the way, we're going to be on the lookout for some special puzzle pieces that will help us learn about a few things we can do to help keep our Earth super healthy. Come on, let's go. me Blippi. Wow, and look at where I'm at. Yeah, today I'm at Priest Point Park in Olympia, Washington. Whoa, and look at this place. Wow, there's some moss on this giant tree. Oh, look, here's some shrubs. Yeah, this is actually a fern. Wow, in this video, we are going to learn about keeping our planet Happy and healthy! Woohoo! Wow! It's raining! <laughs> I love the rain. Wow, have you ever danced in the rain before? Woo! -hoo! It's so fun! <laughs> yeah, our planet has so many different climates. And right now, I'm in a rainy forest! Wow, this is so cool! Oh, it's really pouring now. <laughs> Makes me so happy. Woo! Woo! <laughs> oh, geez. I love being in nature. Wow, it's such a great place to be. <laughs> Whoa! Look at this massive tree. Whoa! It's Bark feels so cool on my hands. Whoa, it's so textured. Whoa, that's really cool. Wow, I love plants. Trees, shrubs, flowers. Yeah, there's so many great plants because they provide us oxygen. Yeah, and other things like vegetables, fruit. <laughs> but it's not all about us enjoying nature. We need to give back as well. Yeah. Have you ever planted a plant before? <laughs> yeah, it is so much fun. Digging in the dirt, planting the plant, watching it grow. <laughs> oh. Oh. What is this? Do you see what I see? Yeah, this is a puzzle piece. Whoa, check it out. I love puzzles. <laughs> huh. Look at it. I wonder if there's more puzzle pieces around here. Will you help me look? Hey, it's our first puzzle piece on a great green adventure. 
in our first step in learning how to keep the earth healthy. Step number one is to clean up. Cleaning up helps get rid of pollution. Pollution is when you make the land, water, or air dirty. So by cleaning up, we're getting rid of pollution, and that's good for our earth. <laughs> yeah! Woohoohoo! The Blippy Cleanup Crew is here to party! Woo! <laughs> yeah, I'm so excited to make sure this place is nice, clean, and tidy. Yeah, it's really good for our planet to make sure that it's clean and tidy. All right, first thing we need is our cleanup gloves. And there is the first glove. And here is our second glove. Hey, what color are these? Yeah, the color blue. <laughs> Woo! All right, let's see if we can find some trash. Hmm, let's see. Looks like a bunch of leaves and grass and soil. That's all good. <laughs> all right. Hmm, do you see any? I'm not seeing any. Oh, you see some? Oh, down there? Oh, yeah, we found some trash. Well, when this is here and it's not supposed to be here, it's called littering, and littering is bad. And that makes me angry. But you and I are here to help. All right, first let's pick it up yeah, and put it in here. But do you know what this is? Yeah, this is paper. And paper, we can actually recycle it. <laughs> that means that we'll be able to reuse it later. <laughs> All right, see if we can find some more. Oh, you see some more? Oh, down here? Wow! Good find! Uh, it should not be here though. <laughs> but like I said, you and I are here to help. All right, let's see. What is this? Is it a musical instrument? <laughs> yep, it's a musical instrument. And it was also litter. But hey, we can actually use this for later, and that's called recycling. And this can will be able to recycle. Good job! <laughs> Do you see any? Oh, back there? Oh, yeah! We found another piece. Wow! Good job, we are doing such great work today. Whoa, and this is a plastic bottle. Oh, I wonder what was in here at one time. Who knows? <laughs> We're too busy, gonna recycle this. <laughs> yeah, another thing to recycle. Yeah, we have found so many things in this park that we can recycle. Yep, and reuse. <laughs> and this. <laughs> this is a glass bottle. Yeah, glass is also recyclable. So let's put it in the bag <laughs> and use it for later. Yeah, and you know what this is? <laughs> A really loud plastic water bottle. <laughs> and water bottles that are plastic, you can recycle. Here we go. <laughs> Did you hear that? <gasps> I stepped on an aluminum can. <laughs> an aluminum you can recycle. <laughs> so let's put it in here and let's recycle. Come on. Wow, check it out. Wow, 
four bins to put all the litter that we found, yeah, into them so then we can recycle. All right, let's see what they read. This one says can, C-A-N, can. <laughs> this one says plastic, P-L-A-S-T-I-C, plastic. Glass, G-L-A-S-S, -S. glass. And last but not least, paper, P-A-P-E-R, paper. Okay, now we need to take all the items that we just found and sort them so then they can be recycled. <laughs> all right, let's see. The first item that we found, oh yeah! You remember what this is? Let's see, which one do you think it goes in? Cans? No. Plastic? No. Glass? No. Yeah! This is paper! Yeah! There you go! <laughs> All right, what else do we have in here? Let's close our eyes. Oh, yeah! woo -hoo! The plastic water bottle! <laughs> All right, which one of these is for plastic? Hmm, let's see. Oh, yeah! Plastic! <laughs> All right. Here we go. Let's close our eyes. Wow, remember this? Yeah, the musical instrument. <laughs> All right, enough playing around. We need to clean up our planet. All right, what is this? Is it a can, plastic, glass, or paper? It's a can. <laughs> All right, just a few more things. Whoa, check this out. Yeah, this clear bottle, it's really hard. Wow, I can't crush it, but it's pretty delicate. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is glass. All right, here we go. Yeah! We finished the first step on our great green adventure. Nice job cleaning up all that litter and recycling. Remember, recycling is when we take paper, plastic, glass, and cans and allow them to be turned into something else instead of thrown away. An easy thing we did to make the world a better place. All right, what else is in here? Look at what we found! Another puzzle piece! Whoa! Good job! We are doing so great today. Hey, what's on it? Hmm. Yeah! This is an electric car! Another piece of the Great Green Adventure Puzzle! Woohoo! Step number two. Let's check out an electric car! Electric cars are super cool because they run on electricity instead of gas. And that's great for our Earth! But before we do that, let's learn a little more about respecting our planet Earth. Because it's our home! Look at the plants, look at the trees, all the beautiful colors, all the gorgeous leaves. Our Earth is green, our Earth is blue. Protect its goodness for me and you. Our Earth is rare and we only get one. Let's help it along. Come on, it's fun! Respect the trees, they give us lots of air. Respect the creatures, give them lots of care. Respect the plants, cause they help us all to breathe. Respect the water, the oceans and seas. When we make
what a beautiful day it is out here. Oh, <laughs> whoa, check it out. Do you see what this is? Yeah, this is a red and white vehicle. <laughs> Looks like a small car or a truck. <laughs> and today, you and I are gonna meet someone really cool. That's Dave over there, and he is awesome. He did something awesome. He took a gas-powered vehicle and converted it to run on electricity. <laughs> I am so excited to meet Dave and check out his cool vehicle. Let's go. Wow, check it out. This little logo says E V. Yeah, the two letters E V stand for electric vehicle. Whoa, in these, <laughs> these little speakers? Yeah, these are the horn. <laughs> That's awesome. Wow, what a cool vehicle. Oh, hello. Wow, what a great interior. <laughs> Oh, hey Dave, how are you? Hi, Cliffy, how are you? Oh, good, thank you for showing us your cool vehicle. What's this? That's the battery. It's actually 48 batteries all connected together with these copper bars. Wow, you said it's 48 batteries all 48 connected? connected into one big battery. Wow. Hey, have you ever named this vehicle before? Yeah, it's O-Sparky. O-Sparky? Hey. Yeah, this is this vehicle's name. O Sparky. O S P A R K Y. Oh, O Sparky. Is that because it runs on electricity? Yeah. <laughs> That's a cool name. Hey, if this is the battery, where's the motor at? The motor's up front. You want to see it? Yeah. All right. Wow! Whoa! Check it out! This is the motor of O Sparky. Can you tell us what all this stuff is? Well, this is a real big motor. And this is the this is what brings the power from the battery to the motor. And this is the brains that tells this how much power the motor needs. Wow! That is really cool. Hey! Can I drive O Sparky today? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow, check it out. Yeah, this is the charging cord of O Sparky. All right, there we go. <laughs> yeah, you know how gasoline vehicles have a little airy to fill it up with gasoline? Not this one. This one has a cable. Wow. And then this is how you charge the batteries. So first, you have to plug it in, just like that. And then you let it sit. <laughs> in the meantime, let's check out the vehicle. Whoa, look at this. Yeah, flames. <laughs> wow. These flames are the color red. Yeah, just like this. Hey, and what color is this? White. Whoa, and look down here. Oh, some cute wheels and tires. <laughs> what color is the rubber on this tire? Yeah, it's the color black. And the wheel is white. And the lug nuts are red. Wow. Hey, and a little mirror right here. Hello. Hey. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. And then we saw this earlier. This is where the batteries of O Sparky are. Wow. And this is actually wood. Whoa. <laughs> well, I think we should hop on the inside and check it out.
Let's check out the inside of the super rad vehicle. <laughs> All right, first things first. Yeah, safety first. That's why I'm gonna put on my seatbelt. There we go, tighten it up. Perfect. All right, check this out. This is the steering wheel. And in the center of the steering wheel, we have the horn. Listen. <laughs> so silly. All right, down here we have some foot pedals. This, yeah, that is the throttle. This is the brake. And the left one is the clutch. But you don't use that in this vehicle. <laughs> All right, and right here, this is the parking brake. Okay, here we go. Whoa, you see how I'm moving? Whoa, okay, I put my foot on the brake because as soon as I released this and didn't have my foot down there, then we started to roll. <laughs> okay, this is how you go forward. And that is how you go backward. Whoa, <laughs> that is really cool. And then, just like a normal vehicle, we have a key down here. Wow. This is to change the gears. There's only two gears in this vehicle. <laughs> wow. This is such a really cool vehicle. We finished step number two on our great green adventure. That electric car is good for the environment and definitely helps with pollution. <laughs> hey, that was fun. Whoa. What was that? Whoa. Yeah, a puzzle piece. Whoa, and this puzzle piece has seeds on it. Whoa, <laughs> good job. <laughs> Let's add it to our great green adventure puzzle. Step number three on our adventure. Let's learn about seeds and plants. Did you know that plants come from little itty bitty baby seeds? Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Then they grow into big and tall plants that help make the oxygen we breathe. <sighs> so plants are really important to a healthy earth. Let's go check some out. Oh, check it out. I'm at Urban Earth Nursery in Seattle, Washington. And this place is so awesome. There are so many plants here and plants are great for our planet. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. Whoa. This is a clay pot. Whoa, that's a really big pot. And this is what you can plant some plants in. Hello. <laughs> All right, put that back right there. <laughs> Let's go. Wow, I love all these plants. They're so colorful. Hey, what color is this plant? Yeah, it's the color green. Whoa! Hey, and check out this. This is a flower. Do you see what color that flower is? Yeah, it's kind of like a pinkish, light purple. Let's just call it pink with white. Oh, that's so pretty. <laughs> wow. Whoa, look at all of these. I love plants because they bring so much great oxygen to our planet. Oh, hey, these are edible plants. That means you can eat them. <laughs> Yum! There's a lot of herbs here, like this. Check it out, that's parsley. Yeah, you've probably had that in some of your food before. And then some cilantro. Oh, looks like a little animal ate some last night. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, and look at that. Looks like we have some mint. Mm. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Smells minty fresh. <laughs> hey. Wow. Looks like we have some vines. Vines are cool because they grow up. Yeah, and around, and they grab onto things. Wow. Look at it. You see how tall this plant is? It's because it's wrapping itself around these pieces of wood. That is really cool. <laughs> what a smart plant. 
Looks like we have some sweet box. Sweet box. Yeah, sweet box is a great plant for hummingbirds. They love to eat this plant. Yeah, well, the nectar at least. <laughs> and did you know hummingbirds can flap their wings so fast? Oh, look, there's a person. Hey. Hi. Who are you? My name's Katie. Oh, nice what? to meet you, Katie. Yeah. I'm, I'm Flippy. I what, do what are these? These are evergreen trees. Whoa. That means they keep their leaves or needles all year long. Wow. What lucky trees. Well, hey, I have a question. Do you know any place around here that I can plant some plants? I do. Follow me. All right. Here you go, Flippy. Here's a great place to plant some plants. Cool, awesome. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, do you know what you're doing? Yep, I think I got it. Thank All you. Right. <laughs> Have fun. See ya. Wow, I am so excited. Okay, so it looks like we have all the things that we need to plant some plants. Looks like we have a lot of soil. Whoa, wee! <laughs> yeah, and this soil is packed full of organic nutrients. Wee! <laughs> Whoa, soil is so fun. I love adding water and then it gets all muddy and it's so fun to splash and play in. But today, we're planting plants. <laughs> okay, and then we have a little container. Yeah! And then what we need to do is put some soil in the container and then after we put the seeds, oh, there they are, the seeds in the soil, then we water them and then sun goes on it and then the plants will grow. Okay, so let's do that now. First, let's put on our gloves. One glove on, two gloves on, so now I won't get dirty. <laughs> All right, put that over there. <laughs> All right, let's take our container and fill it up with soil. There we go. Three scoops filled up this container. All right, so now let's pack it down just slightly. There we go. Actually, let's add a little bit more. All right, so now what we're gonna do are take these seeds and put them in the holes that we poke in there, okay? But for this, I'm gonna use my hand. So, let's poke one hole. Huh. Two hole, three holes. There we go. Perfect. And now, check this out. These seeds are so small. You see how small those are? Wow! It is so crazy to think that these little seeds will grow into plants. There we go. Now, Cover up the holes. Perfect. Now that there's seeds in there, covered up nice and gently, now we get to water it. Wow. Perfect. <laughs> wow. Now, have you ever wondered what seeds we just planted? Yeah. I didn't tell you, did I? <laughs> yeah, we actually planted lavender seeds. Oh, hey, check it out. And when those seeds grow up to get bigger, this is what they're gonna look like. This is a lavender plant. Whoa, smells so good, you can eat it. And when it's spring and summertime, it blooms into a beautiful plant like this. Whoa, I am so excited. Hey, good job. <laughs> Step number three on our great green adventure. Check. Our little plant will give the world some much needed oxygen that we breathe every day. <sighs> great job. Woohoo! that was so much fun planting those seeds. <laughs> well, hey, I think we should find some plants that we could go plant in the wilderness and then we'll make our earth even prettier. <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh, hey! This area is called the Native Plant 
plants area. Yeah, all of these plants are perfect for planting around here. Yeah, which are plants that are native to where we're at right now. Wow, these look so cute. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, the last puzzle piece. This is a picture of the sun. This is awesome. This is the last thing that we need in order for all these plants to grow big and healthy. Water, soil, and sun. The final piece of our great green adventure puzzle. Awesome. Step number four on our adventure is learning how to help our plants grow. By giving our plants room to grow, their roots can spread and get even bigger. With the right amount of soil, water, and sunlight, they'll grow up and get nice and strong. Happy, healthy plants will make for a happy, healthy earth. Let's grab one of these. Hey, this looks pretty perfect. This is a fern. Wow, this fern is great. Whoa, 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 check this out. Yeah, my two favorite colors. A blue flower. Oh, and that's kind of orange. Whoa, I think we should totally take these as well and plant them. <laughs> yeah, good job. Right here on earth, we have all we need. Our friend, our home, we plant the seed. From the air we breathe, to the water we drink, to the land we live on, really makes you think. From the mountains high, to way down below, we all share the earth, now it's time you know. Respect the trees, they give us lots of air. Respect the creatures, give them lots of care. Respect the plants, cause they help us all to breathe. Respect the water, the oceans and seas. When we make a change, we'll see the worth. We all have to help and respect our earth. Was a big hill. And what I'm doing is taking all of these items up to the top of the hill so then we can plant the plants. <laughs> hey, let's check out wh what I brought up here. Yep, I brought my gardening gloves. <laughs> Looks like I brought my big shovel. Yeah, so we can dig in the dirt so then we can put our plant that we brought from the nursery into the hole. And this is a fern, and this fern is native to this area, so it's gonna thrive in this environment. <laughs> a little hand shovel, whoa! And then, the two cute flowers, so cute! <laughs> oh, can't forget about the wheelbarrow. Wow, hey, and some water. Yes, yeah, so we can plant, <laughs> so we can water the plant after we plant it. Oh, and last but not least, yeah, mulch. Whoa, check it out. Mulch is actually just chopped up pieces of bark. Yeah, check that out. Bark and wood and plants. Yeah, it actually provides nutrients to the soil and also it helps make sure the soil maintains its moisture. <laughs> okay, let's get to planting. Whoa, 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 check it out. Do you see this tree? Oh, what a cute little tree this is. <laughs> hey tree, how are you? Thank you for being you. But hey, this is a young tree. It's really small, but check this out. Whoa, when it grows up, it's gonna be really big like that tree. Wow, I love trees. They're so great for our planet. All right, let's see here. Ooh. All right, okay, first thing we need to do is find a great place for our fern. Let's see, how about right here? All right, here we go. All right, so what I'm doing is making sure I dig a hole that's about two times the size of 
the fern's pot. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. That looks real good. <laughs> All right. Hey, I'm about to get really messy, so let me put on my gloves. I probably could have put the gloves on before I used the shovel, but that's okay. Okay. There we go. Perfect. Let's take this fern. Are you ready to be in your new home, Fern? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna be very careful and flip it upside down. Shake it. There we go. And then I'm gonna place it nice and gently right here and put the soil back. There we go. See how I'm putting the soil all around the edges and the sides? Perfect. Wow, and I'm breaking up all the big clumps. Wow, this fern is gonna grow up to be really big and strong. Perfect. Let's scoop up a few scoops of mulch. Put it in our little planter bucket. And what we're gonna do is put this on top of the soil, all around the fern. There we go. Perfect, wow, let's get a few more scoops. Wow, this is awesome, good job. I love planting plants. Like I said, it's really good for our planet to be able to plant plants. <laughs> and since this is a native plant, like I said earlier, it's gonna thrive around here. But hey, what else do we need to do? Yeah, we need to water it. All right, ooh, here we go. All right, here we go, here you go, woohoo! There we go. That's a good amount of water for now, but since it's a native plant, yeah, the rain around here is gonna provide a lot of water, so we don't have to come out here every day to water it. <laughs> Let's put these two plants around here. So then, it looks nice and pretty. Wow, how does it look? <laughs> yeah, I think it looks so good, we should probably take some photos. All right, I have a fun game. First, we're gonna act like three different things. Seed, stem, and flower, ready? First, act like a seed. Oh, get nice and small. <laughs> now act like a stem. <laughs> and now act like a flower. Yeah! All right, here we go. Yeah! Seed. Stem. Flower. Seed. Stem. Flower. Stem. Seed, flower. The last step on our great green adventure, check. We gave our new friends soil, water, and sunlight that they needed to grow big and strong. And more plants is always great for the earth. Great job, hey! <laughs> Woo, <laughs> have you had fun today? Yeah, I sure have had a lot of fun with you as well. Yeah, we found a lot of puzzle pieces. Whoa, I love puzzles. They're so challenging. <laughs> hey, let's go over the four puzzle pieces that we found today. Puzzle piece number one taught us to clean up and recycle. Cleaning up and recycling helps things to grow and gets rid of pollution. And that's really healthy for our Earth. Puzzle piece number two took us to O oh Sparky and taught us about electric cars. Remember, they use electricity instead of gas, and that's good for the environment because they don't create as much pollution. Plus, he was such a cute little car. Beep, beep. Puzzle piece number three was all those little tiny seeds. Remember them? We visited the different plants at the nursery and even learned how those tiny seeds go to become adult plants and flowers that give our air some clean oxygen. And finally, Puzzle piece number four taught us what our plants need to grow big and strong. When there are more plants in the world, 
there are more homes for animals, more food to enjoy, and cleaner air for us to breathe. <sighs> Great job. Okay, I have an idea. Why don't I try and put all these puzzle pieces together and see what it looks like? Huh, there's two. All right, there's three. Wow, we have four puzzle pieces all put together. Hey, what shape is this? Yeah, it's a circle. Whoa, and look at what we made. Yeah, a puzzle of our planet Earth. Hey, and all four of these things on these puzzle pieces are just a few ways that we can make our planet a healthier, happier place. Whoa, I love our planet Earth and I love you. Thank you so much for being my friend and thank you so much for helping me, Blippi, make our planet a happier and healthier place. Woo! Walking through the forest, look at all the trees. They give us lots of air, what we need to breathe. Look at all the critters roaming on the ground. They help carry the seeds to grow plants all around. Flowers are blooming, making lots of food for all the bugs and creatures, even me and you. We're singing the earth song. We're helping the planet. Recycle paper, glass, and plastic Taking care of the earth Will make you feel fantastic You can plant a tree Or pick up some trash Ask a friend for help Then it'll be a blast We're singing the earth song We're helping the planet Together, together We can make a change Singing the earth song